Hey fam, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. So I just want to talk briefly about why I gave up reading relationship books. You know, over the past couple of years, I've been reading a lot of relationship stuff, relationship material, you know, how to do this, how to be a good boyfriend, how to be a good husband, how to do this, how to do that, what you should look for in a woman, all these you know all these books all these theories all this stuff right and i've been reading all this information i've been absorbing all this information i've been getting all these ideas from all these different people but at the end of the day i was still single <laughs> so i was reading all this information about how to do this how to become that right but i was still single right so i I remember the last relationship book I read was Marriage, Divorce and Remarriage by Kenneth Hagen. And I remember as I was reading that book, I just said to myself, this is the last relationship book I'm going to read. I'm just so tired of these relationship theorists, all this stuff. And I'm not saying the stuff isn't good, right? But a lot of these relationship books aren't even relationship books. They're marriage books. You know, they're books about how to be a good husband, how to be a, um, a good wife, how to make your marriage work. But there's a whole chapter, a whole period that's missing. And that's the, that's the period of when you meet someone, how to seduce them, how to get into a relationship with them so that you end up being in a long-term relationship with them, right? So all these relationship books these marriage books that i was reading really they didn't cover that period they only covered the period of you know how when you're finally in the relationship how do you go about it now i was listening to someone that i listened to on youtube his name is stephen james and he's got a channel called project life mastery and he talked about how when he was in canada and how he used to be shy of girls but he used to be in these dating forums and what he used to do was a person would post a post a question about a woman and Stephen would would write uh, recommendations about how to approach the woman what he should do how he should talk to her like he was giving relationship advice to someone else over on the internet over online but the problem is that Stefan didn't have a girlfriend and then he realized that there was a problem here he was giving all these people advice all these people information um, but he himself had no practice you know he had no practice all he had was theory I think you understand what I'm saying so a lot of the things that I had were just theory it's just theory do it like this, do it like that, because so and so said it, and so and so said it, and so and so said it. But theory is empty without practice, right? So I had come to a place where I knew a lot, theoretically, but you don't really know when you can't practice. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna step back from all these relationship philosophies, these relationship books, and I'm gonna see if this stuff really works. And lo and behold, I discovered that it doesn't. You know, being a nice guy, being a Christian, because this is what a lot of these relationship books advocate for. Be nice, be responsible, show the girl, you know, pull out the chair, uh, let her walk in first, treat her like a queen and she'll treat you like a king. It's all this theory, right? <laughs> but it doesn't work. and. I realized that, wow, this stuff doesn't work. This stuff isn't practical, it's just theoretical. So man, I stopped. I mean, I recommend a lot of these books, especially if you're in marriage, because these books are for married couples. It's not for people trying to get a girl or trying to get into a relationship, no. A lot of this stuff is just for married couples. And I recommend a lot of these books for married couples, but if you're in the dating game, if you're in the relationship phase where you're trying to get someone, you know, flip, 
these books it just it just aren't good for you because you can have all this theory, theory right but if the girl just doesn't like you she doesn't like you but these books don't really talk about the possibility of that it's just oh if you be this guy and if you be you attract this girl no no if she doesn't like you she doesn't like you and there are things about seducing women that these books simply don't talk about they do not mention the art of flirting the art of seduction um the art of playing even mind games the art of being fun being an enjoyable experience for the girl that you're seducing that you're trying to uh, get with and i'm not saying get with as in sleep with but the girl you're trying to be in a relationship with so that's why i gave up dating books relationship books i'm gonna say you know because i know could see all these christian authors and all these marriage gurus had the best intention but their their lessons are for married couples they're not for us we people in the dating world and a lot of what they say is kind of outdated you know um anyway i'll get into that in another video but yeah that's why i gave up relationship books because they don't work i mean marriage books because they don't work you know it just doesn't work and i want you guys to examine yourselves how many of you guys have read these books i'm not gonna mention any authors right now but how many of these relationship books or attended church and listened to these sermons about how you should become this person and this person and you'll get the girl but you still don't get the girl how many of you have got these testimonies guys i think we need to wise up because these books aren't helping they really aren't they are leading us on i mean th these authors who write these books they sell the books so obviously they're making a profit but we can't do that no more i, I refuse i changed like last year uh with that situation with that girl i decided to be like two months into this the the thing where i was available and i realized that nah this girl isn't gonna date me she's just enjoying my attention she's enjoying my validation and i decided to run the hell away but anyway that's why i don't do relationship books anymore because they don't work